today's Christmas spot, we're having a look at very magical, light-up, musical pens! I picked this up, I just happened to come across these at the checkout stand of the convenience store that I was buying. I don't even remember what I was buying, it could have been a Mountain Dew. I don't even remember. I don't even remember what it was. It was irrelevant. It was irrelevant, whatever it was, because at the end of the day, I think the bigger, the bigger uh, gift that I gave myself was this light-up pen. On the top of the pen, it almost looks like a light bulb. This part right here. And up the top there is Santa Claus. Saint Nick! Headless, or bodiless, I suppose. It's just his head. Uh, it's rubbery. A little bit of rubber there. Uh, not bad. A little bit of paint. Imperfections, as they would say. Right around the eye area there. But overall, Saint Nick doesn't look too bad for just being a head. I think there was also Frosty there as well. It does actually do stuff as well, so don't worry. If, if you're thinking this is, if this is the majority of what we're going to see in the next five minutes or so, count me out. Don't worry, stick around. There is definitely more. There's definitely more coming. At the very bottom, there's a little cap. We'll take the cap off right there. That will prevent the pen from drying out. If you're planning on getting these for stocking stuffers, make sure that the cap is on the bottom of the pen. It would really, really suck. I haven't even tried this myself, but it would really suck to give this to somebody for a stocking stuffer and the pen doesn't work. Not only with the lights and sounds, but also just the pen itself. I happen to have myself some paper, which actually reminds me, hmm, got this up against my imaginary mouth, which actually reminds me, I still got to do my shopping list. Things that I need to get this holiday season for loved ones in my, in my world. I suppose right at the top of the list, let's see here, we have ourselves Rosalita, my fictitious Spanish hard-working maid. Hmm. I know she has been eyeing the, the Elvis Presley uh, commemorative, I don't, I'm just going to put CMM, I'm going to abbreviate that, uh, plate collection. Which, if memory serves me, I think the first plate in the collection is Jailhouse Rock. I'm writing that down. Jailhouse Rock. Maybe I've even missed the first plate. Maybe the second plate was already out. The Love Me Tender plate. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not getting choked up over what I need to be buying for Rosalita, but... Hmm. Oh! And salad tongs. That was the other thing that she was eyeing. I don't know if she was really eyeing it for my place or if she was eyeing it for herself, but either way, salad tongs, I see, hmm, is in Rosalita's immediate future. So, we clearly know the pen works. It writes a nice shade of blue, nice dark blue. Thanks for watching, guys. No, don't worry. There is more. There's definitely more in this review. Bless me. Excuse me. At any rate, though, what we do have is at the very top of the pen, we have Santa Claus. As we've already discussed at the beginning of this review, Santa Claus is on the top. Now, I didn't know initially how to activate said pen. I thought there was maybe a switch. I thought there was a little dial that you turned. I could not for the life of me figure out. There was no actual instructions on the displayer that had these pens. It was only until I tapped the pen, because I like to do imaginary drum sets in my kitchen. I think to myself, hmm, like, hmm, Spock could really become a professional drummer, and I start tapping the pen against the countertop. Well, lo and behold, when you tap the pen, it plays music. And Santa lights up. Can you see that? Just his head. He has a headache, which likely all of us will be having if we listen to this pen too long. They've taken the liberty of giving us a nice high pitch. Oh, it's breaking into something else now. They've given us, us high depth, high pitch renditions of some of our favorite Christmas classics. You feel that the Christmas classics just doesn't hit home well enough? Let's put it in high pitch. Something real screeching that guaranteed you're going to have a headache by the end of the night. That's pretty much all it does. I, I would imagine that the Frosty did the exact same thing as the Santa Claus. But I thought for the purpose of a Christmas spot... You can't get any more Christmas than Santa Claus here. Of the two, I decided Santa Claus was it. 
yeah, so great for little stocking stuffers. Nothing really too significant to talk about, but at least you've got a working pen and you have something that can annoy all the relatives when they're over. Today's Christmas spot, we're having a look at the musical light up pens. And uh, so far, spot's done pretty good for writing out his list. Thanks for watching, guys. Certainly stick around. More Christmas spots are definitely heading your way. Maybe as annoying as this one? Very unlikely. That's very, very unlikely. And yes, Tylenols will also be in your stocking. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.